Welcome to day three of the Double Your Stimulus Check Challenge. In today's video, we will go over all of the numbers for day three and I will show you if we made money or if we lost money. And for all the brand new people that are just tuning in, we simply invested $1,400, an entire stimulus check into three different coins. And the coins are One Inch Exchange, Polkadot, and the Crypto.com coin. As of right now, we are on day three and it's not looking good. Today we had another major correction in the market. Pretty much all the cryptos that we have invested in are down today, including Bitcoin, Ethereum. Pretty much we had another big red day in the market. So on day three, we lost some money. But before I show you all of the numbers for day three, I would appreciate it if you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And now let's jump right into Atani so we can see the numbers for day three. Let's go. All right, so now we are inside the Atani app. If you are new to Atani, it is one of the best platforms that I have used so far. It lets you link up all the different exchanges into one platform. As you can see, I linked my Binance.us account and my KuCoin account. And what Atani allows you to do is simply link all of these exchanges that way you can see your entire portfolio in one place. Best of all, you'll be able to look at the charts and see all the features and all the benefits of the other exchanges on one platform. You can also compare all the different prices from all the exchanges that you link to in order to find the best deal, in order to get the most bang for your buck. So far, Atani has been absolutely amazing. And best of all, when it comes time to do your taxes, you do not have to worry about tracking your trades, writing everything down, creating spreadsheets. With Atani, one little click will get you all the tax documents that you need. And that, in my opinion, is absolutely worth it. Best of all, Atani is 100% free, so you can check it out in the description box below. And now let's look at the three coins that we are holding in this challenge. And as you can see, we are holding CRO, dot and one inch and here's the amount that we have of each of these coins also crypto.com coin makes about 35 percent of the portfolio polkadot makes 33.7 percent of the portfolio and the one inch makes up 31.3 percent of the portfolio and these are the amounts that we have currently in these coins as of right now our fourteen hundred dollars that we have invested is all the way down to twelve hundred and $45. The major pullback that we had today pretty much made us go down all the way to $1,200. But slowly we are climbing back out. And I'm hoping that this correction lasts another day or two before we start going up once again. And when we take a look at the spreadsheet, you will see the three coins that we have invested in, the prices that we bought in at, and our total investment of $1,400. And on day one, we lost $88 and we came down to $1,312. On day two, we had a slight little recovery. We made $38, but today we had a major pullback and we are down $106 so far. And our initial investment of $1,400 is now worth $1,243. So hopefully going forward, we start recovering and these coins start making us some money. So as you can see, we have started another challenge at the worst possible time. If we have just waited two more days and started the challenge today on day three, we would be way better off. By the time these coins recover, we could have locked in a profit between 10 and 20%, but just bad timing on this challenge. And now let's go over to coin market cap to see how the rest of the market is performing. Let's go. All right, so now we are on coin market cap, and as you can see, there's a lot of red today. Bitcoin is down to 54,600. Ethereum is down to 1,686. In my opinion, Ethereum is a great buy right now. Also, Binance coin is down almost 2%. Cardano is down 2.6%, down to $1.12. Polkadot is down 5.5%. XRP is down 7.25%, but it is still up on the week, over 16%. Uniswap, another coin that I'm holding, is down 10% on the day. 
Tata is up over 31% on the day and over 102% in the last seven days. We have seen explosive growth from Tata. Litecoin is up on the day, surprising, almost 2.5%. Let's scroll down. Chainlink is down. Dogecoin is down. Luna is down almost 14%. Crypto.com coin, it is up almost 18% on the week, but today it is only up 1.4% which is still pretty good. I think the next couple of days, we should start seeing real big moves in the CRO coin. VeChain, another great coin that I'm holding long term, is down 5% on the day, but on the week, it is up over 17%. I'm expecting VeChain to cross over the 10 cent mark anytime. Avalanche down 7%, 11% on the week. HBAR is down just under 3%. Matic is down over 10% and almost 20% on the week. I believe Matic will continue to correct over the next couple of days, but if the opportunity presents itself, I will probably end up buying some Matic. Harmony is up almost 10% and 113% on the week. It has seen explosive growth in the last seven days. Also, another coin I'm watching, I just do not want to buy it when it's already up 113%. But if it experiences a pullback, I will be buying. Pundi X, I looked into it. Uh, not a big fan right now. Not a big fan. Especially now it is up almost 100%. I will definitely not be buying at these high prices for Pundi. But who knows? Later on, if it has a major pullback, I might buy some. So as you can see, a lot of the coins on CoinMarketCap are definitely in the red today. The whole market seemed to go down at the same time and a lot of the coins that I'm holding, if one of them goes down, they're all going down. If Bitcoin goes down, everything I'm holding is in the red as well. All right, everybody, that concludes this quick little update. As of right now, I'm still holding on to all three of these coins. Hopefully in the next couple of days, we start recovering and we start seeing some major action in these three coins. I'm thinking CRO is going to be the first one to take off in this challenge, but only time will tell. Also guys, do not let these pullbacks scare you. Do not let them convince you to sell your coins and take losses. This is completely normal when investing in cryptocurrency. We have seen these pullbacks before and every time after a couple of days, the market starts rebounding again. Guys, the institutions are still buying even at these high prices. So you have to ask yourself, why are the institutions still buying at these prices if they do not expect cryptocurrencies to rise even more? Institutions are in it to make money, just like us. And we are all expecting the coins that we buy to go up in value so we can make some money. Institutions are doing the same thing. So keep that in mind. All right, so that concludes this video. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the links in the description box below. And as always, I'm not a financial advisor. Do not take this as financial advice. And see you in the next video. Peace out.